Okay. So with that being said, the links would start to fluctuate, and mm -hmm. you don't want that to happen. So these get changed out on an every six month basis, okay. and these are your heat detection links. Right. So if it burns hotter than 500 degrees in here, then it'll separate the link, causing the system to go off. Oh, really? Yep. So this is how the system is going 500 off. degrees. 500 degrees. If it gets over 500 degrees behind these filters and it goes to one of these links, it'll set itself off. Okay, I didn't know that either. Yep. Because we had, we had some really hot days last... I mean, it wasn't 500 degrees, but it was really hot. Right. It's, well, it's got to get over that in, in here. But you always have the exhaust fan and everything. Yes. I'll see if that works because I do have to set the system off today. Oh, you do? So, yeah, I'll show you how to do a full function test. Okay. If you're ever in, 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 in case of a fire and you need to use this system, I'm going to show you how to use this system. Okay. This is the real deal. They, they never told me and they just say your truck is ready. <laughs> and I was okay. like, okay, thank you. And they didn't, this, oh, and this this is your first system? That you yeah. Had? Yeah. Okay. Nobody so, explained anything to me, though. Yes, ma'am. I'll make sure that I explain everything to you before I go. Alrighty. So, with that being said, your links are now 2020 ml new. I see you have your hood exhaust fan. I'm going to have to measure your duct and plumber. But other than that, we added your F nozzle along with your 2W for your uh, for your griddle and your deep fryer. So with that being okay. said, I'm going to rearm it. So explain that to me one more time so okay. I have it on record. So right here, this is how it's going to be. So to put it in, the arms has to be down. Yep. Okay. So th this is the first step. When you take off the cover plate. Yes. It's going to come off. Okay. Once that's off, this is exactly how it's going to look. How it looks. Okay. Yep. So what you would do is you would first unscrew this. Okay. You would take out the cartridge. Okay. And you would set the cartridge down. All right. That's for when you move. Put this somewhere safe where okay. it can't roll around. Yes. And then put your cover plate, which is your big silver plate right here. Yes. Put that somewhere safe in your... In your your screws somewhere safe so that they don't get lost. Okay. With that being said, you would just put this down and usually people just set them in here so that they don't get lost and then put the plate back on. Okay. But that is only while you're, you're moving, moving the vehicle. Yes. As soon as you stop the vehicle and start to cook, you rearm the system. Okay. And by rearming the system, you would take this cartridge and you would screw it back in. Okay. And then that would be that. So what you would do is you would just set it in here. You would make sure that the threads are threaded fine and you would go ahead and you would start to seed it and it would screw itself in. And then, then the system would be armed. But if you were looking to clean the conduit and everything else, you would go ahead, you would pull this guy out again, okay. unscrew it, pull it out. Okay. You would take the lever, you would put the lever up, which means that the system cannot go off if you touch the and detection yeah. line and you're doing a nice thorough clean. Okay. With a hood suppression cleaner or anything, okay. that's how you would disarm it so that they could do a nice thorough clean for your hood. Okay. Then with that being said, after they're finished and you're going to do everything and rearm everything, what you would do is, is you would take the lever, you would push the lever back down, you'll feel it lock. It's a nice tight lock. Okay. With that being said, you make sure that all of your links are set and in the groove of each one of the link holders okay and then that would be set and then you would go ahead and proceed to put the cartridge back in and screw it back in take your face plate put your face plate back on and screw cover it, it back up and okay. then you would be fully armed again so in other words if i'm not cleaning don't touch the lever if you are not cleaning yes ma'am do okay. not touch the lever touch the lever but if you are moving Take this bad boy out, put the faceplate back on, and leave him right here. Okay. All right? Got and it. And that would be how you would move without it going off in a food trailer. Okay. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. And then with that being said, your duck and plenum nozzles are nice and clean. Everything looks clean. Your links are, are put out. So what I'm going to show you now, Ms. Jones, is I'm going to show you how the system functions. All righty. So I have my Ansel retocking bar here. They have a new style and an and a old style now. Okay. But this has both the new groove and the old groove okay. fitment. This is your gas valve here. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace my line to your gas valve and make sure that it shuts off. Well, we need it to shut off. Which is one of the main components to the system. Okay. Because if you have... Uh, I think it's on this side, but maybe... Yep. Yeah. I just followed the piping. And with that being said, your main source of fuel is propane. propane yes. Yep. Okay. And there is no electric to this deep fryer, so that's good. And there is no electric to these. It's all okay. It's all propane. All right. So this is your gas valve down here. This red guy. When I set the system off, mm -hmm. this is going to go off. It's okay. going to go down to the closed position. Got it. All right. My husband actually installed that. Installed that? Yeah. Because, oh, he's the plumber? No, but when he came, um, you guys, they didn't want to do it and he... Well, we cannot do yeah. it. And by law, he is a licensed plumber. Yeah. He, yeah. he and his friend did it. He That's and his cool. licensed plumber friend. So, I'm going to replace this for free because I just broke it coming okay. out. But they're not bad. This is your brake. This is your Ansel brake rod. Okay. This keeps your pull station held tight. Okay. Yep, from it moving or anything of that sort. You okay. want to be careful not to hit into this. Okay. A slight tap or a big hit or something could set it off. Really? Yes, ma'am. So, with that being said, this is your pull station. Okay. It's in the prog... It's in the... In the... In the uh, the area of aggress, so right here is the way you get out. Yes. So if there were to be a fire, you would take this pull it on. and you would just yank it, pull it hard, okay. yank it, and it would set the system off. Okay. okay. Okay? So I have everything disarmed. We're going to do a dry fire test. Okay. And that's going to go ahead and shut this down. Once I see that the pool station works, we'll be in good shape, and then I'm going to test the gas. Okay. So what you would do, go ahead, Ms. Jones, and pull that. Take it out, yep, and then pull it, there you go. Now you hear that? Yeah. Now we're fired off. Okay. Now that's in the fire position. So what this does right here is this actuates the, this actuates If the it pin. was connected. Yep, see the pin right here? Yep. That would shoot off into the cartridge, activating the system. Yeah, hi. Yep. So with that being said, that's when all the chemical would disperse out of the nozzles mm -hmm. and cover what needs to be covered per okay. specs. I'm going to go ahead and reset this now. Okay. I'm pull the slack out of your station line. Look at that. <laughs> and push that back in there, right there. Okay. And I'm going to get you another rod and I'll put that rod back in before I leave. But that's how you would function the system. Okay. Now with the system, this doesn't have any concern to you because it's a it's a cooking truck but if you were to have electric in here which some of them do if any of these appliances were to be have an electric outlet and mm -hmm. need to be plugged in and used okay then you would need a micro switch okay which would when this system would function it would set off it would close this bar onto the micro switch uh, cutting the electric off okay and then cutting everything else off that is to the electric. Okay. So with that being said, that goes, this is your gas right here. So what I'm gonna do is, what would happen is, is this cartridge would pressure, it would send the pressure through this line causing this to shoot down and you're gonna listen for down there, you're gonna hear it pop. And that shuts off your propane. Okay. Now with that being said. And when, when would that, when does that happen? Like what would make that happen? The link separation. Oh, the system going off. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And then you would just reset that. Which they are a little difficult. 